Good day, class. Good to see you all again. Now today's lesson will be based on Part Two of our textbook, Unit Four, Page Forty-Five. The topic will be on animals, and the focus will be on vocabulary and listening. And、uh, the objectives for the day and for the lesson will be these two objectives. First, learn the words for different animals. So we are going to learn a number of animals, all right. And for objective two, we shall listen for specific information, all right. For specific information. So here are the two objectives for the lesson today. First, I would like you to write down a few words. Into your vocabulary book. All right. So in your book, write down the day and the date itself, and pause to page forty-five. Top ten endangered species. So here it's vocabulary, and the first word will be the word endangered. Endangered. So what does it mean? In danger of being harmed, lost, unsuccessful. Etc. But when we join it with the word endangered species, what does that mean? Here, endangered species means animals that may soon not exist because there are very few now alive, due to many reasons. So, the third word, alright. So it's a phrase here. So second. Is a phrase. The third is a phrase. What does it mean by "moner butterfly"? It means a very large and black butterfly, having striking orange-brown wings with black veins in a reticulated pattern. It is also called milkweed butterfly and moner. Its larvae feed, right? Feed on the leaves of the milkweed. Milkweed is a type of plant, so therefore, monarch butterfly is also called milkweed butterfly. Next, the word mammal. What does it mean? It means any animal of which the female feeds her young on milk from her own body. Most mammals give birth to live young, so to us, I mean,、uh, we call it babies. And certainly, they are not eggs. Next, five reptile. An animal that produces eggs and uses the heat of the sun to keep its blood warm. So these are the five words and phrases which I would like you to copy down into your vocabulary book. On page forty-five. There are a few exercises which you are required to complete. Now, in your reading book, which is E2, write down the day and the date. Write down Pals Two, page forty-five, and this top ten endangered species. And the exercise one here requires you to find out which four animals do you think aren't endangered animals. But before that, let us read the words here. And we read it with the pro, with the correct pronunciation. So read after me. First word here, gorilla, rhinoceros, owl, butterfly, elephant, polar bear, whale, giraffe, crocodile. Snake, turtle, penguin, tiger, bee. All right. Now we shall pick which four animals that aren't endangered animals. As you can see, these are the top ten endangered species that you can see here. So, whichever words that are not found. Yeah, on this page,、uh, according to the、uh, picture here, 
well, they are the aunts endangered species. So let's take a look. Which are the words, yeah, that are not in the group of endangered animals? Well, gorilla, no. So I guess we have one here. B. So what you can do is you just circle the the words which aren't in the endangered group. So B. What else? What about snake? Yeah. Okay. Snake. Here one word here. Giraffe. And there is one more. What would it be? Here. Owl. That's it. These are the four animals which aren't, which are not endangered species. There it goes for exercise one. For exercise two, you are required to copy and complete the descriptions with words from the box. Let's look at the descriptions here. One, as you can see, yeah, you are supposed to copy all this into your book. One, hotter summers and colder winters are making it difficult for this mourner to survive. So what is the correct word for this endangered species? Butterfly. Very easy to answer this question. Butterfly. Two. People are destroying the forest where the mountain mountain two this is gorilla right where the mountain gorilla lives three large areas of ice where the hunts for food are melting so as we know this is a Polar bear. Polar bear. Four. Tourists are disturbing the lava back sea, which lays its eggs on beaches. Well, you know that four here will be turtle. We call them leatherback sea turtle. Five. It's illegal, but people still hunt the for its skin. So five, we shall put down tiger. Now who wouldn't know this is a tiger? So it's quite easy to answer this exercise. Six. People in some countries eat what meat? Whale. Next. Seven. People hunt the for its horn, which is very valuable. Rhinoceros. Rhinoceros. Okay. Eight. In some parts of the world, the can't find enough fish to eat. Right. This is penguin. Simple, isn't it? Let's go to the next question. People are building houses and roads in areas where the crocodile lives. Next, the last question for exercise two. 
Hunters kill this animal because tusks are worth a lot of money. Now, here everybody knows this is an elephant. So you write down elephant. Okay? So this is it for exercise 2. On page 45, I combine these two exercises, exercise 3 and 4, together. Let's look at the question. Look at the headings in the table. How do you say the words in your language? Well, this is Malaysia, so mammal in Malay is called mammalia. As for reptile, in Malay, it is called reptilia. Bird is called burung. B-U-B-R-U-N-G rong. Burung. Insect, we call it seranga. S-E-S-R-A-N-G rong. G-A-G-A. Seranga. Right, so mammalia, reptilia, burung, seranga. All right, and then here it's, it requires us to complete the table with the words in exercise one. Come, let's take a look at the words here in exercise one. All right, here let's take a look at which one is for. Mammals. Well, mammals, uh, I'm sure a lot here, they are from the mammals group. So we take the one with, um, well, in other groups here. So let's say for reptile. Reptiles. Right? So which one is reptile? So here. Crocodile. Snake. Turtle. And what else? I guess that's it. Only three. So we write down three here under reptile, crocodile, snake and turtle so this column is complete okay let's say for bird bird group which one would it be owl right owl is definitely the um, bird in the group, you're right, in the group, bird group, and the next one will be, well, just in case some who do not know, penguin is in the bird group, All right, so there are only two endangered species in the bird group, so one is the owl, the other would be penguin. That's it. So this column is complete now. Let's see for insect. For insect. Well, as we can see, there are not many here. So this is for the insect. What about the other one? Mm, here. Butterfly. Okay, so these two are in the insect group. So butterfly and bee. So this group is complete. Now, the leftover will be all under the mammal group. So we shall write down gorilla. Rhinoceros, okay. 
sorry, rhinoceros. Next, elephant. Polar bear, whale. Now don't be surprised. Whale is under the mammal group. Okay, whale is under the mammal group. Next one will be giraffe. Tiger. That's it. So these are the answers for exercise 3 and 4. For exercise 5 and 6, you are to listen to Chris and Lucy talking about a project they have to do. So before you listen to the dialogue between Chris and Lucy, let's go through the questions. In exercise 5, the question is this, what mistake does Chris make? Next, in exercise 6, first question will be, why does Lucy think whales are intelligent? 2. What do whales do when people watch them from boats? Question 3. What does Chris say people aren't allowed to do anymore? Question 4. Why are ships dangerous to whales? Question 5. Which animals does Chris want to write about? Let's listen to the dialogue. I shall read out the dialogue to you. For exercise 5 and exercise 6, I shall allow you to read the first half of the audio script and the rest I shall read it out to you. But then again, in the video itself, under the column of the explanation for the YouTube, I shall put the full audio script for you. You can check it out from there after this. So here, I shall start from here. Chris asked, which endangered animal are you going to do your project on? Lucy says, Whales, I think. I found this article about them on the internet, and they're really amazing animals, you know? Chris asks, What's so amazing about them? Lucy says, Well, first of all, they're really intelligent. For one thing, they've got their own language. Chris asked, what do you mean? Fish can't talk. Lucy answered, They aren't fish. Honestly, Chris, don't you listen to anything in biology? They're mammals. Chris says, Okay, if you say so. Lucy says, Anyway, whales make sounds under the ocean in order to communicate with other whales. Chris asks, Really? I didn't know that. Lucy says, Yes, and they're very friendly animals too. And Chris says, Wow, I would love to see a real whale. And Lucy says, Me too, but soon there might not be any. Chris asks, Why not? Whale hunting isn't allowed anymore, isn't it? Lucy says, no, but they still do it in some countries. Another problem is ships. Chris asked, ships? Lucy answered, yes, sometimes ships hit whales and kill them by mistake. Chris answered, that's terrible. Lucy says, I know. Anyway, what are you doing your project on? Chris says, Uh, I haven't decided yet. Maybe snakes. Lucy asked, Snakes? They aren't an endangered species, are they? Chris says, No, but I know a lot about them. My brother's got a pet snake, you see. Lucy says, You're joking, yuck. That's the whole audio script that I've read out to you. Now let's answer the question in exercise 5. What mistake does Chris make? 
Remember what Chris says about、uh, whales? Well, he thinks that whales are fish. That's when Lucy gave him a piece of her mind. So here, the mistake would be like this. He thinks. So we answer in present tense because the question asks in present tense. So he thinks. Whales are fish. That's it. As simple as that. Let's go to the next exercise. Question one in exercise six. Why does Lucy think whales are intelligent? Well, here. She believed that they, which means the whales, got their own language. Remember how Chris says that fish can't talk? Yeah. So here, so the whales. Got their own language. Exercise six, question two. What do whales do when people watch them from boats? So we answer they. They refer. They refers to the whales. So all these we answer in present tense. They swim near. The boats. You see, they are very friendly, and so they swim near the boats and look at the people. Right. Let's go to the next question. Question three. What does Chris say people aren't allowed to do anymore? Well, it has something to do with、uh, hunting the whales down. So here, simple in just two words, hunt whales. So people are not supposed to do that because they are endangered species. Next question: Why are sheep dangerous to whales? Remember how sheep can actually kill whales. So here, they refers to sheep, yeah. So they heat the whales and kill them by mistake. So that means it is an accident, which they do not do it、um, intentionally. So they hit the whales and kill them by mistake. So which animals? Question five. Which animals does Chris want to write about?、Um, remember that、uh, Chris's brother、uh, got a pet snake, so he wants to write about. Snakes. All right. That's it for exercise five and six. I hope you learn something from the video today and from the lesson today. All right. So hope to see you again in the next video. Have a great day. Take care.